One of the most influential books that I recently read is The Dip by Seth Godin. And the, one of the main reasons why it was so influential is because through my life, I already try, I went on numerous endeavors of opening up my martial arts school uh, instead of Dean University. Then uh, I made my main YouTube channel, The Martial Arts Journey, which, is, which now, now has more than 135 100,000 subscribers, it keeps growing. Uh, so that was a big endeavor, but, but initially there was a moment where I decided to close my school, completely shed away my previous profession, which was martial arts, uh, specifically Aikido and yoga, close my martial arts school and uh, restart my education in martial arts in a different field and uh, focus on becoming a professional YouTuber. So that was a big endeavor as well. And now, uh, eight months ago, I started this channel, The Journey, and uh, it was a big endeavor as well because uh, starting a new channel on YouTube, even if you have an established channel before, it turns out it's a big challenge. And uh, what, what Seth Godin talks about in his book happened to me every time and I realized what he's talking about is very true. And the main concept, main idea behind uh, the book The Dip is that whenever you start something big, whenever you start a, a new project, a new direction, especially if it's on your own shoulders, if your own, if it's your own project, you're you're responsible for your success by yourself. But even applies to different fields too. Uh, one example I have: my girlfriend is a professional singer, and now she is you know on the path to to get to the next level. So she definitely relates to whatever is said in that book as well. And as I said, I went through that process myself multiple times. So whatever uh, Seth Godin was talking about completely resonated with me. And I think I, I keep coming, I keep talking in circles, not specifically saying what that is. So let's get there. Uh, the main concept behind the book, The Dip, is that uh, when you start that new endeavor, uh, even if things in the beginning seem like they're kind of going smoothly, they're, things are slowly growing, but initially, uh, soon enough you will hit what he calls, and I think very fairly, a dip. It's a, a drop in, in any type of, more or less like any type of positive feedback, any sense of growth. You start to feel like nothing is working anymore, no one is interested in you. Whatever you do, there's no significant feedback, there's no... I wonder if you're hearing the music. Anyway, so there's no significant progress, basically. And you keep on grinding, you keep on doing things, but but just things don't move. And that's a place where it's very easy to start to panic. And again, I've been there a number of times myself, and it's a scary place to be. But the brilliance of the book The Dip, because Seth Godin explains, and I think justly, um, that it's a place which is unavoidable, that's a place which is is almost like a must must experience to have. Uh, thing is, and what Seth Godin again says, and I, I entirely agree with him through my from my experience, from, from what I explored, and through my life, I always loved exploring stories of successful people, of people who made something significant, made a change, and it always comes down to the dip. There's the dip is evident; it's there. But if you don't know about it, if you don't know that the dip is inevitable and you drop into the dip's place, then you start to easily freak out. And again, what, what, what Seth Godin emphasizes, uh, and that relates to my experience, is that human beings, we are not programmed to feel comfortable uh, at, uh, at difficult experiences. Basically, we're not programmed to feel good and stay in situations which are uncomfortable for us. Uh, our mind is basically bound to avoid discomfort. And being in the dip is not a comfortable feeling. We want encouragement. We want a, a feeling of success. We want affirmation. We want the yeah, confirmation that we're on the right path. But being in the dip, most of the times you don't get that. And it seems it's easy to come to a conclusion that it's pointless. And uh, I've, I was challenged with that. And I, uh, what, what Seth Godin explains is that most of us, we go through that process. And uh, 
the beauty of the book again is that when you read about it and when you come to a conclusion when when Seth Godin really proves that it's an inevitable it's an inevitable experience and you and you set yourself up for it you gear yourself up for it and you realize okay this is the dip it's inevitable I do have to pass this this is not a bad sign because again that's that's where people I think make a mistake they feel like okay I'm feeling bad things are not moving it's probably a sign that this is not the right path. I shouldn't pursue this. This is this is this is not for me. That's a mistake. Seth Godin encourages you to uh, to realize and recognize that you have to live through the dip. You have to spend quite a bit of time there. And the longer, the more time you spend there, uh, the the better outcome you'll have uh, at the very end of it. And and again, now there's a very important moment to stress, and Seth Godin does that really well too is that just spending the time in the dip is not enough. It's not just about, okay, let me sit here. You know, I release, let's say I release, I wanna become a YouTuber and I release a video. I feel I'm in the dip, nobody's watching my video. And then I just wait for people to praise and celebrate my video and it's all about waiting. No, it is not. And Seth Godin again clarifies that overcoming the dip is not only about time. Like time is a significant factor. Most likely it will take a while until people will become interested in what you do. They will start to recognize your work. They will start to trust you. They will buy into you. It most likely will take a while, but it's not just about waiting it out. It's also about continuously grinding and doing your best, improving yourself and trying new things. He, 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 specifies really well that it's not just about doing the same thing over and over again, but the dip, because we feel so uncomfortable, it feels bad to be in that place where you don't feel any progress, that also encourages you to try new things and to try to be innovative, to, to try to come up with new solutions, with, with different, um, different perspectives, different, different approaches. And if you are going through that way, if you keep on trying something new and you don't give up, there it, it is much more likely that given the right amount of time, eventually you'll hit the spot. Eventually you'll come up with a solution which will work. And then people will be like, whoa, look, if you take an example of YouTube, that happens with people like even Ramsey Dewey. Some of you might be following him. He's, I guess, like 150K right now, subscribers, also martial arts, so related to my, my main channel. Uh, from what I know of his story, he, he kept publishing videos for a while, but there was not a lot of recognition there. But then one day, Joe Rogan watched one of his videos and, and talked about it and on his podcast. And suddenly, everybody went, went, went to watch that video. And they also discovered, oh, there's plenty of wonderful, amazing videos there already. He's a great guy. And then suddenly, it just blew up. But the thing is, he already put in the work. It wasn't just one video that made the difference the whole his whole hard work paid up till that point so clearly you know he had to go through that dip as well but once he reached that end and that's the point which which Seth Godin again makes is that uh, the longer the dip takes the harder the dip is to overcome the more successful you will be at the end because so few people stay there if it's incredibly a, it's if it's a really really tough dip so potentially, let's let's use from what I know uh, of startups. Uh, I have a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, working with startups, and uh, we keep talking about that. And, and he really knows, you know, how they work. He says they're so it's so likely that startups will fail, but if your startup does work and become a unicorn, then it's oh my goodness, you know, there's so much money involved, and and the success rate, you know, it just blows up. But the chances that you will make it through, it's not only a long dip, it's also a very difficult dip to navigate. It's one where you really need to push things forward and you really need to create something which will be the game changer. But if you do, you know, you're, 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 you're good for the rest of your life, basically, if you're talking financially. And obviously we're not only interested, or personally I'm not only interested in financial success, but that's, you know, that's part of the game. And if you look at many of the stories of successes, Again, I recognize that whatever Seth Godin says in the book is true. The dip exists. It's inevitable. It's not only about waiting through, uh, but the, the more, and that, again, that's what Seth says himself, the better you understand, the more you understand that you are in the dip and uh, it may take time, 
you will need to put in the work, you will need to keep on working, trying out different solutions, but the, the better your, your understanding is that the dip, that you're in the dip, it's not a bad sign, it's natural. The better you understand that, <coughs> sorry, coffee grains, I just drank some. The better you understand that, um, that it's part of the deal that you have to feel bad for a while, that, 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 that lack of feedback is normal, the easier it is, it will be for you to overcome the dip. So that is why I highly recommend the book, The Dip by Seth Godin. It's, it's only like two and a half hours on, on Audible. Uh, really short book, quick, le quick read, quick listen, but, but a brilliant book. Uh, you know, I said the main basics, but it's still great to hear it from the master himself. Mm, Seth Godin is in general a great writer. I, I read a number of his books, really like them just go and listen to it. It's, it. it's pretty cheap actually and audible. And I'm not getting money for saying this. <laughs> uh, and the very last few words, this is the very first book review that I'm doing in my life. Um, you might know this from my main, from my, my channel, from my previous video that I decided that while I currently am investing a lot of energy in my own personal growth and I thought that once in a while I'll just share what, what cool stuff I, I come up with. I, I come, you know, I discover so let me know what you think about this video. Did you enjoy the review? Was it useful? Any feedback you have for me to improve it? Should I do more? I probably will do more whatever, you know, in disregarding what people will say, but, but if everybody will say this sucked, then I'll be like, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong. So, so give me some feedback. Uh, I appreciate, I'll appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thank you for listening. And I hope you will read that book and, or listen to it and let me know what you think by the end of it. So, it was nice to hang out and see you next time.